Hi, I'm Crafty Patty, and I've got a baby shower to go to, so I'm pretty excited about that. So, I'm going to take a vegetable tray, but not just an ordinary vegetable tray. I'm going to do something creative, right? So, I've turned the vegetables into a buggy. Stay tuned, and I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm using a white tray that measures 13 inches by 13 inches or 33 centimeters. And the first thing I did was I used a long English cucumber, anywhere, I think probably if you have about 11 or 12 inches, that will be enough to do this project. And what I did was I've just cut the cucumber in about one inch slices. So I've just cut the cucumber along one inch slices and then I sliced it in half to make the scallop edges. So then I went in and I just put them around to make a little buggy shape with the little top of the little pram or whatever you want to call it for the top here. And I've just made a little tiny section of the cucumber here and a smaller one here. Um, for here, I've done a smaller one because what I, what I wanted to do is just grab a little bit of a cherry tomato and it just makes it look like the handle of the buggy. And I've also got the cucumber, <laughs> cucumber, I've also got a tomato that I'm going to use to make it look like the little hub of the buggy. I've left two openings here and that's going to be for the dip and it's going to be the wheels of the buggy. And what I did on this one is I put in some hummus, but feel free to put in any dip you want. And then I used a little slice of a cherry tomato and I cut up little pieces of carrot to make the spokes in the wheel. So I'll do the same with this wheel here. So now I've already pre-cut up and washed some beautiful veggies. I've got some red cauliflower, white cauliflower, broccoli, and some peppers. So I'm going to put the peppers in the top part of the buggy and I'm just going to quickly throw in different broccolis and the cauliflowers in here just scattered. I've also got a little bit of lettuce here and I think I'll just put that up on the top here just to make it look maybe like a little bit of a blanket maybe on the top of the in the buggy there. But you can certainly do whatever you like. So I think I'll just finish up my other wheel here because it's bugging me that it's not finished. You can just smooth it out. And I'll just chop off a little top of my tomato here, a little cherry tomato. And that's a little hub. And then you can just size up some carrots and just adjust your carrot pieces till they fit to go around to make the little hub. So I have to make the spokes of the wheel, like so. And there we have our little second wheel done. And so now, because we've got a base to hold all our vegetables, we can just put them all in here. We're going to just put them in randomly because I think that looks just fine like that. And it's perfect because the cucumbers are allowing them to stay inside this portion of the buggy. Once I've got all my pieces in there, I'm just going to move them around and just make it so the little tops of the cauliflower are on the top rather than the stems. Just make it a little bit more pretty. And now for the peppers I'm just going to do three rows 
I'll do some yellow and the red and then orange. Then I'll just fill up the sections in here. Just count them to fit in. And I'm just going to put in some red so I can hold them in place. And then the orange will be on the other side, like so. And just keep cutting them to fill in the sections. Well, here's the finished vegetable tray buggy. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I just think it's adorable. And I think it's gonna look lovely on a baby shower table for the guests and the mom-to-be to enjoy.